guys, what is up? Welcome back to an episode. I'm Brickfo, and today we're back with another episode of Modded, uh, uh, Modded, whatever this world is called. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so, it's been a long time since I've been in this world. It's been like five days, six days even, since I've been in this world. I've kind of forgotten what we were doing. Um, I think I've done this off camera. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm off camera. I made the sieve, sieved a lot of um, bone meal, and I sieved enough to make um, two crucibles, and then I cooked them. So yeah, we now have two crucibles, and I believe we made the pyrotheum dust on camera. So what we're going to want to do is we... Ooh, we're running quite low. We are going to want to smelt up this pyrotheum dust. Uh, it's going to take a long time to, uh, for this tea to smelt up, I do believe. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Whoa, that's going down really quickly. Okay, we're going to need to get some more lava. Um, and then what I've set up is I've set up this little contraption here. Um, I think I might have set it up wrong though. I think I have. I think what you're supposed to do is um, have it like that and then there. And then you're supposed to have a faucet. Um, if we have a faucet. I believe we should somewhere. Uh Yep, sweet. Uh, faucet, and I'm gonna grab out a bucket as well. Two buckets. And I'll run down there and grab some lava. And I'll take a quick cut in just a sec. Because... Oh no. We should be able to do this. We should be able to do it. Uh, and then if we do that, yeah. This. So we should click this and it'll pour down into there and it'll pour into this. And, oh, am I we need the buckets anyway. Uh, so yes. Ooh, I just realized now how much... How much does... Two and Oh, doesn't we don't even have enough for a bucket yet. Oh, we have nowhere near enough for a bucket. We're going to be needing 10 blazing pyruthium for a bucket. Okay. Okay. I guess we should craft all this up. Uh, give me, oh, actually, we aren't going to do this. So we need one, two. So we need four. Four. Okay, we need one more coal. Oh, we're going to need a lot of coal, actually. Uh, did I... Yes, I did. Okay. So just throw that in there. That they will slowly get... How fast is this being used? Okay. We'll get, we can, we're going to have no problem. Um, it says that we need some redstone, and then we need to get a lot of sulfur. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to make a quick cut here. Uh, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys. And we are back. So I just finished pulverizing a bun... Oh, not pulverizing. Uh, sag milling some things. I put some flint in here, which gives it a high percent chance of a bonus output. Uh, so, yeah. So, let's put all this in here. I did refill this with a little bit um, of lava, just from down, down there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, but anyway, that's going to take a little while. So, I'm thinking, I was thinking about making a shortcut, but actually, I want to tell you guys some stuff. So, I told you guys yesterday that, um, all, all the stuff on my computer came, so I'm very, very happy for that, uh, and on Sunday, um, I'm going to be uploading a video, which will be a, uh, my computer setup. Um, so yeah, you guys will be able to see what kind of setup I have, because, and after that, I should be able to run things way better. Um... So yeah, the thing is, I'm going to need to put a lot of stuff that I have on this computer onto the other computer using a USB or something. I don't know exactly how, it's going to take many, many hours. One of the main things, I'm going to need to get this world on there as well, so I can continue the series, because I'm, like, this series is going to turn out really well. I'm having great fun with the series. Uh, and we've barely even touched it. We've really even scratched the surface. Um, okay, but now, I'm going to make a quick cut, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. And we're back. So, we now have a thousand millibuckets, aka one bucket, of blazing, blazing pyrothium. So, what we need to do is, it's selected, I just, just, let me double check. Yep, sweet, it's selected. So now if we click this, please work, yes, yes. So it pours out of the f uh, faucet, down into this channel, and then into the tank. And you guys can see, under a mount, That's 
Ooh, that's weird. That's annoying. That it does that. Okay, whatever. We know we have no gold in there. But we never really needed gold in there anyway. Um, so cool. We can now grab this out. And we now have one bucket of blazing pyrothem. Now this stuff here is horrible. If you step in this, you die. <laughs> Not really, but it, it's horrible. It's so nasty. So what we're going to do is... Where are we going to place this? Where are we going to do this? I reckon... We can get rid of this now. We can get rid of this now, I reckon. Um... Hmm. Actually, let's run over here. Can I put the... Oh, come on. Put a seared brick away, wherever it is, right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to break uh, this. We're going to break the seared tank for the lava. It keeps its... Come on, damn it. It keeps its uh, contents. I'm going to need to get in here. Um, the good thing is with this, it keeps... Everything keeps its memory. Like you do that, and although it broke, it'll still know what it is. As long as you don't break the controller, it'll be able to know what it has in it. So, yes, over here... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over here, we're gonna be having a little thing. Okay, this is gonna be a bit annoying. I don't got a shovel either. Oh no. Um. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do this and this, and then we're gonna place the blooming power theme in there. And yes, as you can see, very nasty stuff. Uh, we can place the crucible there. This is horrible stuff. Um, and another crucible. Oh, we can break this. Holy damn! Holy damn! Uh, we can place another crucible there. And God, I have to grab some cobblestone. That stuff is so nasty. Okay. Uh, let's take it from the top chest. Okay, so we come over here, block this up. Okay, now we don't need to worry about this. So now is the wee bit complicated part. We need to pump into this. Because I don't think... It, no, you can't pump out from the side. It can only be the top. Oh, look at that. This has got seven mounting speed, but this has only got five. Whatever. Like, this will be the main one anyway, just for this. And then every, anything else will just go into there. Um... I want to see if you can pipe it up from the side, because if you can, that's perfect. But what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make up a transfer node. Transfer node. One of these ones. Item transfer nodes. Okay, that's pretty simple. Oh, we're going to be needing this pipe, uh, which is just some stone, some glass, and some redstone. Okay, very, very simple. Um, do we got that? Do we got that stuff? Okay, you know what? I'm going to make... Oh, we got the glass. Um... I'm going to make a quick cut here, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, and we are back. So we now have everything to do this. I just realized we need one more piece of redstone. There we go. Okay, so now we place this in there. Place these slabs cr across the top and bottom. Whoops. And that gives us, and the glass there, that gives us transfer pipes. Now we need to do this, and place stone there, and with the chest at the bottom, and redstone there, and yeah. That will give us a transfer node for items. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to need to move this back a little bit. Probably back, maybe... Hmm. Yeah, somewhere around, probably maybe even in the corner? here Or... Hmm. Yeah, let's do it right here. Let's do it right here. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a bucket of lava to steal it from here, because we are very cheap. A bucket of lava there, and a bucket of water, just from up top. So I'll, be, I'll go and grab that, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we now have our water, and now we're back at the base. <clears throat> so now we can place in the water, the transfer node, have this going to there, there, and into this. Ooh. I don't like that, but I can't really do anything about it. Hmm. Okay, uh, so we have that there, and then let's craft up a, uh, a liquid transfer node, and I'll be back in a sec. Oh, anyway, uh, that was weird. 
let's craft it up on camera. So we need oh, everything that we need before. We can just use one of these buckets to do that. Um, and a little bit of redstone. Okay, so a new redstone block. And that's everything else. So now we've got the liquid transfer node. What we're going to want to do is, we need, all we need to do is test this here out first. Oh gosh. Oh no. Um, if this lights me on fire, I'm going to go insane. Do you light me on fire? Okay. Um, so hopefully that works. If it doesn't, we have a little pr uh, issue. Um, yeah, and the, pretty much the only way to resolve that is we're going to be needing a retrieval node. Um, which means we're going to be needing QED, which means we're going to be needing a load of ender pearls. Well, not much, but we're going to be needing a few ender pearls. Uh, so, which I might need to do hunting off camera. Ooh, hunting off camera. Let me just block that up because I'm going to fall in. I'm just not. Okay, but all we need to craft that now is one item. It is called a world interaction upgrade. Pretty basic. Uh, what do we need? We've got everything. We're one iron short, but we have 102 ingots of it, so uh, whatever. Okay, so while that's pouring out, let's grab out our four lapis um, and do we? It doesn't look like we've got two sticks. Yeah, I'll just use the the spruce. One, two. So, and this is now pouring out. Do this. Do this. And now we can go over and craft up a iron pickaxe. Uh, how to craft that? No, whatever. Okay. Oh, just you can't shift click in it. Of course you can't. Okay, sweet. So now we have a world interaction number. We can put the iron away. Uh, we all we need to do now is we put this in here, and it gives us cobblestone. So now what we can do is it'll get automatically piped in. The cobblestone will go in here, and it won't be melted down. So it can be pumped out from the side. That is very cool. Um, so what off camera? I'm going to craft up another tr another liquid transfer node, and I'm just going to put it onto this side right here. Um, so we can just have liquids coming out both sides to make it twice as fast. Uh, so yeah. But that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Thanks so much. For Whoops, sorry about that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, guys. Yeah.